Hello everyone. If you have worked with libraries like React or Vue, then you have must heard about the term virtual DOM, which is a technique used by these libraries to update the DOM in an efficient manner. So in this video, we are going to talk about how virtual DOM actually works behind the scenes. And then we will also create our own virtual DOM implementation that gives us more clarity about this concept. Now let's start with what actually virtual DOM is. The virtual DOM is just a JavaScript object from which we will create our real DOM and whenever we want to change something on the screen, we will create a new virtual DOM object and compare that object with older one. And if we find any change, then we will update only that part with their nested parts in the virtual DOM and real DOM. Now let's look at how virtual DOM actually looks like. Here's some HTML code for our real DOM that can be generated from this virtual DOM object in the right side where we have the tag name attributes and children for each of our tag and inside children we also can have an array of other component that are nested inside the parent component. Now if you have worked on react then you are also familiar with JSX. Now let's see an example in which we can see how JSX code information is stored in virtual DOM. Here I have created an app component with JSX which takes some props and return an h1 element with the text hello and the name I have passed in the props. Then I am calling that app component with the name property having value world. And inside virtual DOM this call will create an object that looks like this where we have all the information about the component. And same thing happen when we call app with name property having value India but the change children for information where now we have hello india instead of hello world now let's look at one more example from which we will try to understand what happened when state changes here we have two virtual dom objects with a single change which is highlighted let's assume the left virtual dom is synced with current dom and the right one is our future virtual dom now before updating our virtual dom we will check if there is any change in both the virtual dom recursively and when we find a change we will update only that part and their nested part of our current dom and real dom from our virtual DOM. Now if we used traditional DOM manipulation approach, then if we need to update a parent and any of its children, then we have to do this task in totally different calls that can lead to slow down your DOM changes if you are frequently changing your DOM. Now that we have understood what virtual DOM actually is, now let's try to implement it with code. To build our virtual DOM, let's build a structure for each of our tag that we will going to use in our app. Firstly, we will write a function that will help us to create an in-memory representation of our tags. Now that we have write our function, so this function will receive our tag name and return a function that will later help us to create our objects in our virtual DOM. For the demo purposes, we can assume each element in virtual DOM needs three properties to render our actual DOM. First one is tag name and then we need attributes and then the ch children. Now with the help of these make component function, let's create some basic tag like div h1 and paragraph tag after making these basic tag let's build a component using these tags in our app component we will try to create a component that will look something like this in our real dom so i have created a function with a app name that takes a state and return a virtual DOM accordingly. Now that we are ready with our virtual DOM, let's try to render our virtual DOM in real DOM. For that, I am building another function named renderer and this will take our virtual DOM object and we will destructure our component tag 
its children and attributes as we know we have nested components as well so we will recursively call this function whenever we receive array of children Now inside this function, I have created an HTML element for our tag. Then we will need to add component attributes to this HTML element. For that, we have another function that take this element and attribute to be set and loop through all the keys in attributes and in set attributes to real HTML element one by one. After that, we know that we have two kinds of children in this demo. To handle the, both the cases, I will write an if statement where if type of children is equal to string, then just add this string to our element in our HTML. Else, we will recursively call render function for each of our children one by one, and all this render will return its children component that we will append as our child to our current component. Now that we are ready with our render function, let's try to see this in action. For that, I am calling that app function which we have created previously with, with an object having some name and store the return value in virtual DOM tree. Then I will select an HTML element with an ID root where I can append my real DOM as its children. And after that, I'm calling this render function with a virtual DOM tree object. Now to render the changes on, in real DOM whenever the app state updates, let's build a function which takes an old virtual DOM with old state and new virtual DOM with updated state and then recursively check if there is any change in both virtual DOMs and then re-render the children with all its nested children that have any changes. To do this, let's create a function that takes new and old virtual DOM tree. Now just to find a difference between both virtual DOM, let's build another function where we again pass new and old virtual DOM as it is just a demo. So I'm covering only few of the checks. So the first thing we are checking if we are not receiving any children then there must be a change in virtual DOM because we are calling the function on nested components recursively so it is not possible that we didn't receive both a and b then we also check if we have difference in tag names of a and b components after that we are comparing types of both components children then we also want a shallow check on attributes object for both. I have created another function that 
perform a shallow check on two objects and then if components children are of type string then we are comparing string of both components and if any of the condition matches the function will return true that means we have found our change and now we re-render the children and nested children of this component now get back to our diff and re-render function and call the r nodes different function with the current and previous nodes and if it return true then first we will store the id of changed component on a variable and override the new virtual dom changes in, in older virtual dom And then fetch the changed node from real DOM by its ID and replace that node with a new DOM tree created by our render function. And if there is no changes in current component, then we will recursively call its nested components until we found a change or there is no components left.